Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Today's guest speaker, our first in fact, of a few really incredibly cool channels is 365 Days of Silver. So go and check his channel out. It's linked in the description box below and subscribe. Otherwise, just enjoy his take on precious metals. Hello fellow stackers, 365 here and welcome to Backyard Bullion's channel. Now before we go any further, I want to say a massive thank you to Backyard Bullion for giving me this opportunity to make this video for his channel. I think it's a really cool thing that he's doing. He's reached out to some of the smaller creators and he's asked them if they want to make some videos for him to upload on his channel to help give them some exposure. So I think that's a really cool idea. It's so great to see how far the UK stacking community has come. It's really, really grown in the last couple of years. And it's really nice to see every channel, not just the larger channels, but also the smaller channels all working together as one. Just trying to share everyone's content and help everyone grow together. So massive thank you, Backyard Bullion, for letting me make today's video and have it uploaded on your channel. Now, I'm not going to go through all the reasons why I started stacking precious metals because most of you that are subscribed to Backyard Bullion's channel are already switched on enough to understand the reasons why we convert our fiat currency into this stuff. So I feel like I don't need to go through all of the reasons behind me getting into stacking precious metals. But if I kind of summarise it in a short kind of sentence, this stuff is losing its spending power year over year. Whereas this stuff is not only retaining its spending power, but it's also slowly increasing year over year. Now, anything I say in this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm literally someone that's just been stacking precious metals, mainly silver, for around about two years now. And I've really enjoyed the hobby. I've really enjoyed, like I said, converting my fiat currency into something tangible and something that's actually going to protect its spending power as the years go on and I've just found a new hobby in buying different pieces of mainly silver but also I do have some gold in my stack I think it's quite important to have a diversified stack I don't often showcase the gold on my channel because my channel is called 365 days of silver and that is my main focus I do think that silver is undervalued and I do think that silver has a greater potential long term but like I said, I do think it's important to also have some gold in your stack. But in today's video, I'm not going to be boring you with all the statistics and the reasons why, like I said, I got into stacking precious metals. I'm going to be showcasing some of my precious metals stack. So let's just have a little bit of a tidy up on here. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be showcasing a selection of silver that I've put together for you all to have a look at. So I'm just gonna adjust the camera angle now and then we'll have a look what I've got to show you today. There we go, I think that angle looks a little bit better for you to be able to see what's in the chest. Now, for those of you that have already watched videos on my channel, you'll already know that I'm not a massive fan of wearing cotton gloves when I'm filming videos. Don't get me wrong, I think it's very important to wear cotton gloves for certain pieces, especially the more premium pieces. But when it comes to your everyday bullion silver. I've never been a huge fan of wearing cotton gloves. I really like the feel of silver in your hands. Silver is one of the most conductive metals there is. So it gets really, really cold if you're in a cold environment and it just feels really nice to actually play around with this stuff in your hands. So you won't often see me wearing cotton gloves in my videos. I know many people disagree with that. They think you should be wearing gloves regardless of the silver that you are playing around with so let's get the glove out of the way for now and let's have a look what we have in today's chest so as you can see we have two bars here two very different looking bars now this is a 10 ounce art bar i call it the naked lady bar it's a really really cool piece of silver you can see i've had it for a good few months now and it's already starting to get some toning in between the kind of lines and the hair and all the rest of it and it looks really really nice i think it really adds to the effect now i could have put this in an airtight capsule i could have handled it less i could have not had it exposed to the air as much as i do and i might have avoided getting these small bits of toning in between the hair and the body but i think it actually really adds to the 
character and the artwork of the coin. I think it really makes it pop. And like I said, I don't really like handling my silver with gloves unless it's a, a kind of proof piece or something that's got a mirror finish. Things like this I really like just playing around with, having out and about, showing them off in videos and just enjoying the feel of it in my hand. So you can see it's 10 ounces of fine silver, four nines fine, really, really cool piece. This is one of my favourite pieces in my whole stack. Now the next piece I have to show is another 10 ounce bar. Now this is actually a hand poured bar and this was actually hand poured for me by Backyard Bullion himself. Now I asked him to hand pour me a bar that I could give away when my channel hits 10,000 subscribers. So you can see on the back there it says 10,000 subscriber giveaway, three nines fine silver, 10 ounces. So I've not only been watching Backyard Bullion's videos for a long period of time. I'm also a long term customer of Backyard Bullion. I've not only bought his hand poured stuff, I've also brought from his buyers club and you can get some really, really great deals from his buyers club. So a little bit of a plug there and a shout out to Backyard Bullion. I think his products are amazing. As you can see, this is hand hammered, hand poured, absolutely gorgeous piece of silver. And like I said, this will be given away on my channel when I hit the 10,000 subscriber mark. So definitely head over if you're not already and subscribe to my channel. Now the next pieces of silver I have for you are under here. And we have a nice selection. I've gone through my stack and I've picked out some, some different pieces. Some pieces that you might have not necessarily seen before and some kind of different pieces as opposed to just your standard bullion silver. Now we'll start with this bar here. This is a JM bar. Again, another 10 ounce bar. This didn't arrive with a mirror finish. So it's never been something that I've really protected. But I do look after this bar as much as I can. I don't throw it around. I don't let it knock against other pieces of silver. It's actually a vintage JM bar. And the way of identifying that is it has three complete JM logos on the back. No more, no less. Just the three down the middle. And that was actually brought to my attention from a subscriber when I first picked up this bar. But yeah, really, really nice piece of silver. It's got a serial number on the bottom there. It says 10 troy ounces, three nines fine. Johnson Mathy, really, really cool. Really nice, solid bit of silver. Next, we have these two ounce stack of rounds. Now these are actually from the Scottsdale Mint and that is one of my favourite mints. I think they've produced some really, really fantastic stuff. All of their stuff is really, really high quality. I've never seen a piece from the Scottsdale Mint that I haven't fallen in love with straight away. They produce some really, really nice things. And you can see around there it does say, it's quite hard to read on camera, but it does say it's two ounces of fine silver. And like I said, these actually stack, so they're really cool. I've got five of them here. And they've got this kind of inlay bit at the back so that you can literally pop it on and stack them up. And they look really, really cool stacked up like that. Really, really nice pieces of silver. And again, these are more of a, a premium piece. So this isn't something you would want to necessarily stack loads of. But I do think it's quite important to have a variety of different precious metals to keep the the stacking hobby fun and interesting because if you kept buying the same thing over and over again it would start to become very very boring now the next thing we have in here are these little tiny one gram hand poured silver bars now these are actually also from backyard bullion there's a whole ounce worth of silver in here really really cool and again, these are more premium pieces. These are more just for fun, not something you want to be stacking loads of, but definitely something that is really, really cool. And especially if you're stacking precious metals for a kind of barter, end of the world type scenario, which I know many people do, these could definitely come in very, very handy if you wanted to buy that loaf of bread or the milk or whatever you wanted to buy, as opposed to parting with a whole ounce of silver, for example. So... Yeah, I think they're really, really cool. Really, really fun pieces of silver. They've got the, the famous Backyard Bullion logo there, the leaf on the back. And they all say one grams, three nines fine silver on them. Really, really cool pieces. So let's pop them down there. 
Next we have, and again, these are also made from Backyard Brilliant. I haven't just gone through my whole stack and picked everything the Backyard Brilliant made. I've literally gone through my stack and picked out the things that I think are most interesting. And you'll find when things are handmade and hand poured, they tend to be the most interesting things in your stack because they're really unusual. They're really cool. They're not mass produced like your standard Brilliant pieces. And I just think these are absolutely incredible. They're really, really heavy. I believe they weigh three ounces each. So they've got a nice bit of weight to them. They're also hallmarked there as well. You can see they've got Backyard Bullion's logo. 39's fine and they've got all the hallmarks there at the bottom. So yeah, just fantastic pieces of silver. And I haven't got space to demonstrate it today, although I could do it in here, but they do actually roll like normal dice. So you can actually use them. Imagine playing the game of Monopoly or something like that when you actually have solid silver dice to be thrown around and again i think it's really cool to just handle these pieces and enjoy them for what they are really really cool so i'll pop those over there now last to showcase today in this chest are some one ounce silver bars now these are more vintage bars they're not your average kind of britannia bars or things like that and i've actually got quite a nice collection and I won't go through every single one, but I will pick a couple of them just to kind of show you. You've got some more standard, almost bullion pieces, you could say, in here, which is like this one. But like I said, there are some really, really nice, more vintage premium pieces in here as well. This one's really, really nice. This is how it arrived. It had its original factory seal on it. So it's left this kind of imprint on the mirror finish of it. Really, really cool. And there's such a, a varied selection in here. I've got some of the more modern Dragon Bars, which I know many of you really, really like. Fantastic collection. And I think there's only five or six of these in the collection since it started. So something like this is great if you want to kind of do a date run or something, but you don't want to have to go as far back as, say, the Britannia or the American Silver Eagle. Got a Canada Goose one there. 1979 this one's got a serial number on there madison mint and a lot of the pieces i have in my collection the mints no longer produce silver so it makes them even more collectible got a more modern piece there united we stand this is a really cool piece got quite a nice mirror finish as well on the back and it's got the, the USA flag there as well. Really, really cool looking piece of silver. I said I wasn't going to go through them all, but I've got a bit carried away here. Apmex bar. Really, really shiny finish. Really like the logo on this one as well. I don't know about you, but I'm just really into my one ounce silver bars at the moment. There's something about them. I think it's because I first started stacking silver coins and rounds that it's really kind of refreshed my stacking journey if you like by getting into the one ounce bars an angle hard bar here really cool piece scottsdale silver bar now you've got to be careful with these because there's a lot of fakes of these around so if you see something on ebay or somewhere online someone is sending one of these bars and it looks too good to be true things that are too good to be true usually are if you saw a bar that's worth say let's say this is worth between 25 and 30 pounds selling for 10 pounds then straight away that should be alarm bells so do always be very careful where you're buying your silver from one of my favorite places to buy silver is actually from the silver forum it's somewhere that I started my stacking journey. And you can save quite a lot of money as opposed to going to some of the, the main bullion dealers because when you're buying second hand, you save that 20% VAT. So definitely worth checking out the Silver Forum. I know Backyard Bullion is a big fan of the Silver Forum also. And most people are really, once you discover the Silver Forum, it's one of those things where 
once you discover it, you never really go back to buying silver or gold from anywhere else because, like I said, the prices are really, really competitive, really, really good. And the community is great on there as well. So, yeah, shout out to the Silver Forum. Una and the Lion Bar, one of my favourite bars. I've also got a 10 ounce version of this somewhere. It's a shame because, as with most raw mint stuff, you do get milk spots on a lot of their products, which is something that many of us in the community has addressed in the past. I know Backyard Bullion actually did a, a trip to the Royal Mint and he also mentioned it there. So they're definitely aware that we're not happy with their, their milk spotting. Final pieces in here, another Engelhard bar there. That one's got a different logo on it. Again, really, really cool piece. Got one of these Sunshine Mints. Again, this is more of a modern piece a, a newer pickup and then kind of say the best to last if you like really really cool buffalo design there actually a bison but it's called the buffalo when on silver coins and bars and i have done a video on that on my channel explaining the reasons why so do check that out if you're interested but yeah, that's everything I've got to showcase today. Again, I want to say a massive thank you to Backyard Bullion for giving me the opportunity to showcase some of my precious metals stack on his channel. I think it's a fantastic idea and I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone else's videos coming through. I know there's a lot of channels that have started and they've only got sort of 20 or 30 subscribers, but they're putting out some really, really great content. So some of the larger channels doing things like this, I think is a great idea and it really gives them some exposure and it helps them their channel grow and not only helps their channel grow but also helps spread the message that we're all trying to spread and that is think about where you're spending your money think about before you buy that designer pair of jeans or that designer pair of shoes think about maybe buying a, a cheaper item of clothing and investing the rest into something tangible not necessarily precious metals but whatever investment you've done your research into think about converting this stuff into it and helping protect your wealth long term so like i said a massive thank you back up brilliant really really appreciate the opportunity thank you for every single person that has watched today's video i really really do appreciate it i apologize for not wearing cotton gloves throughout this video i know some people might have looked away or they're jumping in the comments section saying how i should wear cotton gloves with with silver but like i said i do like handling my silver with bare hands so once again thanks very much for watching today's video my channel is called 365 days of silver and i look forward to seeing some of you over on my channel i hope you enjoy the rest of your day